You know I went to chef school? This ain't exactly where I saw myself. place like this had to exist. I just never thought I'd actually be in it. for some small talk. Looks like we've got a volunteer here. Howdy, soldier. Want to compare war stories? first, though. I'm Francois Fanon, but most know me as the Victus. I was an admiral during the Colony War, one of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes, but the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard, so they put me here. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. One final act of rebellion by the leadership that lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity, but my execution staged. A lethal injection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, 
It's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. I'd ask you at least hear me out. After so long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their... recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are, but in exchange, I need something dealt with. One task. That's all I require. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colony's more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make it deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Yes? The galaxy awaits. Captain, did your, uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy.
Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re-emphasizing. No one else can know about this, all right? Short of jailing you? No, you're right. But in this moment, I think it would be a big mistake to tell her. Though I presume he didn't call you down there simply to discuss his daughter. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf, the second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion. Spacers, scumbags, and scum. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days.
I'm spinning down. Just look at those stars. Adan, responding to hail. You are cleared to dock. Hey there, friend. Welcome if to UC need Space. Ship parts. Feel free to answer the hail. Doesn't look like I remember. Well, things change, even planets. Or you just jumped us to the wrong place again. First rule of exploring the only wrong place is the same place. Here's your ship parts, as promised. It's odd the things you miss, like the taste of I food. I can't believe it's been gravity. ten years since we met. You remember how we're traveling across? I the remember being so grateful. I offered to give you my met. ship and meeting new friends along the way. I would have felt bad taking it. You were in dire straits. That's when I knew you were good people. Anyone else would have me. Barfing up creds. You know what that moon reminds me of? The time we were boarded by the crypto. to see your back in one piece.
You are the greatest. No, no, no. Better than the greatest. I know that's grammatically impossible, but somehow you managed to do it. Clamps released. Air pressure stable. Thrusters are a go. Ready. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. survived your most recent sleep cycle. Whoa! So, uh, this ship of yours, does it take standard, uh, you know what? We'll figure it out. Hard to believe this place is still intact. But the military I is nothing if not resilient. The best pilot in this dump. Don't let I know now isn't the best to... time, but I need to talk with you later. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am. Damn right I am. I'd offer to let you fly along on my next mission, but... Uh... Oh, and I nearly forgot. Listen, I'm the favor. I've got an application for a promotion in the Vanguard, but I haven't heard anything back. It's been a while. Their reply must have gotten lost along the way. It happens. We're really far from New Atlantis. Anyway, would you mind going there and following up for me? Just like that? Wow, that's great! I'm not gonna forget that you're doing this for me. This is just the start of my climb up the ranks. You'll see. Okay, you're gonna wanna talk to Commander Tuwala. I'm sure he's aware of me because I've sent him a few messages now. Just bring back whatever message for me so I can get out of here, okay? Really appreciate it. What does it matter? I'm gonna be out of here before you can blink and this will all be behind me. That reporter didn't put you up to this, did he? I already told him. It was a misunderstanding. Uh, an accident. My flight record was spotless otherwise. You kidding? It's what I was born to do. Wait, I, I mean flying is what I was born to do. This Vanguard thing? <laughs> Temporary. Only a matter of time before I get called up to the Navy. Before you know it, I'll be a captain. No, wait. Admiral, yeah. Okay, then. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Orlais doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? A man living around Etheria, the gas giant. Only one ship like that I know of. 
never docks, doesn't respond to hails. They call it the Warlock. Maybe this Orlace of yours is the one piloting it. I can give you the coordinates to its last sighted location if you want. Just, well, you'll need to be careful. That part of Ethereus Sky is an old debris field. Plenty dangerous. More than a few scrappers heading out never came back. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. It's always a good day when you come around. Undocking complete, Captain. attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results.
Captain. Uh, hey, uh, when you're not busy, let's chat. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Oh, I love... I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Sorry. I was lost in a memory for a moment there. 
How can I help? Here. This is for you. Oh, quiet. Keep it. Live a little, will you? Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. My pleasure. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's. Hmm, I'm not surprised. The man fled every consequence he ever faced. Of course, you don't expect me to just take you at your word, do you? Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system.
I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic, and I started digging in some old things, just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. It was surreal, honestly. So, most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Precisely. And as a tech person, you also know that style of encryption was prone to error and rarely used outside of academia. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. I know this is probably long done. But I heard his voice. I can't just not look into it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. It is, but I was thinking about it, and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here, see what I can find out. There's got to be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? Huh. Can't say I've had that effect on anyone before. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well... Anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Need something? To the stars.
ship. Hmm. This place needs more decorations, don't you think? 